can't spare the rent. Be able to get up there. the shrine now Tuke was talking about. Guess I should take some healing. Now Tuke said Rhea went past the shrine into the mountain. I'd better take those stairs. door. Maybe Aurea is inside. March 10th, 
10th, 2046. I just spent 16 hours in here trying to install upgrades to improve efficiency for the central processing unit. Project Firebreak is going to need the brain power. Let's just hope I'll have enough of my own. Anita stayed with me the whole time. We got a lot done, but every time she brushed by and I smelled her hair... Oh boy, I should just go to bed. Director of security, Blevins, is riding us like a petty tyrant. I can't even sneeze without triggering his control issues. Those nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. What am I supposed to do with these lights? These things turn, changing the flow of light. All right, let's see if the door's open. Out again. Maybe I can get back inside through that structure over there. Looks like I need to get to those stairs.
someone hacked the menu board to display obscene messages about our colleague, Mr. Blevins. Is this the most advanced geological project ever undertaken, or a junior high locker room? Come on, people. again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? Ah! I can't help you if you won't speak! Whisper is all I ask to guide me. Who? No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I. I used one of these. show you. Yes, show me. Please. <laughs> but I'll bet the goal's the same. Get the light back to the source. Successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Orea? Orea, I need you. You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's Drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. 
Who are you? What do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. I was wondering if you knew anything about a man named Silence. I think he's Banuk, or at least he looks that way. When that name is spoken, secrets soon follow, or vanish, as the case may be. Why do you want to know? He's done some terrible things. But he's also helped me when no one else could. I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. It will not come without cost. Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. The Conclave? A gathering of honored shamans in Banor. Silence is not to be discussed outside that circle. I get that. But you and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. But I would be breaking an oath, and that... I cannot do. You seem to have a history with this voice, this spirit. She saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Werak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so... I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard her voice. A wanderer. Lost, like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. The Daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here, then inside Thunder's drum. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something... evil. She named it the Daemon, and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again. Until today. What did the spirit want from you? She said she was... hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here. In this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe. And she listened. With patience. With wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me, never judged. We kept each other's company. What kept you from the spirit after it begged for help? I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him, I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, 
Aratak and I gathered a Warrock of great hunters to defeat the Daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best after. You and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of the blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world, and the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul, cut off from what it needs. I'm not sure if I understand, but I want to. That's all I need. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's Drum is dangerous more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, Aratak won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain, and he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Ha! Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Huh. You said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible, even for an outlander. An Aratak couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh... Me? Challenge Aratak? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Wirak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits the prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend Sakuli. You help her, you'll definitely get noticed. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratak's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. There's 
frost between my teeth. Coming back. She'll be back. She never falters. But if she has, then I'm the one. To I need to make a name for myself with the nuke. Keeper. Aurea said that I should compete in the trials here. Aurea did? She's never sent someone before. Then what is your reason for training? I would ask this of any Banuk who attempted the trials. I'm... going to challenge Aratok to become chieftain of his Warak. <laughs> well, you better get started then. Choose a trial and I'll... The control trial tests only the wisest understand these shamanic weapons. If you're prepared, take the... We'll need a moment to pull the machines from the pass into the arenas.
no room. Conquered it on your first run and didn't even make it look difficult. No more try. I can always. I beat a champion's time. That should get the wear. What reason do Osaron need for anything that they do? The scavengers ripped out three major parts. If I could bring them back, maybe I could even reactivate it. Get at what's inside its head.
moment while it's still in one piece. seems attacked. Very cold. I get it. It's in better shape than it was. Okay, I'm right. Just 
need to get the power to the utility. If I'm wrong, the place no one's watching. I should wake you up. Climb up to his head. <laughs> <laughs> 